Hey everybody, how you doing today? Welcome back. Uh, today I got my buddy here and my uh, my top research guy, Willie C. Which what are you on Twitter? Uh, uh, William R. B. Cepeda. William R. B. Cepeda on Twitter. He's not sure of that, as you can see, but I don't know. Just search for Goofy Jet Fan and you find him. Yeah. Alright, so Will is here today with us because we are going to talk about EM. F's today and EMFs is not a that's not a teen band from the 1980s right like new kids on the block or TKA no freestyle okay um, we're not gonna do any break dancing none I can <laughs> what are EMFs and why do I even care what an EMF is so Will is our, our top research guy here with our company and Will is going to give us a little bit of information today that you might find fascinating, you might find shocking, and you might even find terrifying. So, Will, what exactly is an EMF? Sure. EMF is short for electromagnetic field. Uh, basically, it's the byproduct of anything electrical, uh, from power lines to electrical outlets, refrigerators, microwaves, light bulbs, Wi-Fi, uh, including laptops, cell phones, TVs, the list goes on and on and I'm sure you get it. Anything that's electrical uh, basically puts out electromagnetic fields. Okay, so that should kind of be common knowledge though, right? Anything that you plug into a wall is going to have electricity. Why do we, why do we, why is this an issue? Yeah, it's an issue because we uh, as human beings, uh, are electrical beings, and that means that uh, there's positive charges and there are negative charges. And if you don't believe that we're electrical beings, uh, just look at anybody in an ER hooked up to an EKG machine uh, that measures the electricity running through the body. Once a person flatlines, basically there's no more electricity running through the body. Uh, that said, there's positive charge and negative charge. Um, positive charge is what we have an overabundance of when uh, we're exposed to anything electrical. And that's bad because a lot of that uh, in abundance uh, leads to chronic inflammation. And I'm sure you guys know that chronic inflammation is the mother of all diseases. Well, what can chronic um, inflammation cause? What types of things can it cause? Sure. Uh, chronic inflammation in your joints, you probably heard of tendonitis, bursitis, uh, chronic inflammation in the gut, you probably heard of uh, Crohn's disease, um, inability to digest food, uh, chronic inflammation in the heart, you have your strokes and, and, and heart attacks, uh, chronic inflammation in the brain, you're looking at Parkinson's or Alzheimer's disease. So, let me see, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi is everywhere. Is, it is. Does Wi-Fi give us EMFs? Oh, yes, it does. Does the does internet, when you're sitting there on your on your iPhone and you get the phone held up to your ear all day long, does that, when you're laying in bed at night watching YouTube videos or messing around on Facebook or checking the sports scores? Good Met, question. Mets lost, by the way. <laughs> Good um, questions. And, and, and the short answer to that is yes, everything affects in a negative way. Um, you probably heard of people saying that being exposed or being on your cell phone all day can lead to cancer. Uh, there's a lot of truth to that. As a matter of fact, science is beginning to back all this stuff up. Uh, same thing with uh, Wi-Fi. Um, as a matter of fact, I was just looking this up a few weeks ago. Um, a lot of countries are trying to ban Wi-Fi and here in the U.S. is quite the opposite. We're trying to get Wi-Fi everywhere just to have access uh, to, to things that we want to have access to, like, like uh, social media, uh, uh, YouTube, or what have you. Um, so it's definitely contributing to our state of disease, for sure. So me, EMFs are a serious issue. Oh, I'd say they are. <laughs> Hands down. No question. Are there other doctors, um, scientists, or anyone out there that, you know, talk about the issue that EMFs cause? Yeah, good question. Uh, I believe it was Clint Ober uh, was the one who who, who spoke. Uh, Is that the guy that used to do Sports Center with Dan Patrick? No, no, that's Keith Ober. Oh, Keith Ober. <laughs> <All right. laughs> uh, 
I'm but, sorry. No, ahead. that's okay. Yeah, Clint Dober uh, has done a lot of research on electromagnetic fields. Also, you have your doctors like Stephen Sinatra, uh, Laura Conover, Joseph Mercola. The list goes on and on. But there are a few doctors that are speaking uh, against electromagnetic fields, electromagnetic radiation. So, they need to come. Someone needs to come up with some sort of solution to get rid of. I mean, there's no way to get rid of these EMFs. No. Unless we go back to living in the Stone Ages. Pretty much, or or, or have a massive power outage but, <laughs> throughout the planet. But there's so th there's got to be. What, what do you got in your hand? And I don't know if anybody can see that if you hold it up a little yeah. bit here. So this is an electromagnetic field detector. Uh, basically, it's battery operated, and when you turn it on to the on position. Uh, Anything that's electrical, uh, you'll be able to hear it and see it through the lights that are on the, in this meter. So, can you show us how this thing works and sure. how it would detect? So, sure. so right now, if I'm understanding this correctly, I am full of EMFs. You are. Just by virtue of being in this building, just by virtue of being exposed, uh, like the microwave isn't, uh, it's turned on, the uh, air purifier, the fridge. The Wi-Fi? Lights, Wi-Fi in the building, yeah. All right, let me see how this thing works. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go over and put this on the on position. Yeah, simple as that. So what? That sound that we're hearing mm -hmm. is electromagnetic field that's running through your body. Okay. And that's not? natural to my body no that's not because it's giving you too many positive char too much of a positive charge and because of the positive charge there's an imbalance which means that you are more prone uh, to chronic inflammation um, which kind of makes sense so does this mean in some sort of way I'm kind of like the Terminator <laughs> you're being terminated I know I'll be back <laughs> So, with this device that you got here, why don't we just take a quick walk around the building and show me some of the things that just throw off these EMFs. Sure. All right. All right. Okay. So, what I'll do, I'm just going to go ahead and turn this on the on position. And it just so happens that right behind me, there's an outlet. Basically, what I'm going to do is just put it close to the outlet. There's that. Here's the thermostat. That's the Wi-Fi. Extension cords. Yeah. What's her, that? Her heater. All right, so her heater's putting out yeah, EMFs? Her heater's putting out EMFs. Um, what do you got there, her? This is her shredder. Shredder's putting out EMFs. Yes, sir, it is. That is absolutely frightening and amazing. And, um, I don't know. I, I I look forward to I look forward to hearing a possible solution, a cure. There's no cure, right? Not a cure per se, but there are ways to curtail it. There are ways to keep it down to a minimum. There are things that we can do to control uh, the amount of uh, electromagnetic fields that we're exposed to. And I'm supposing that you're not going to tell us what those are today, so that we're going to have to tune back in another day to find <laughs> out, right? That is correct, sir. Well, the Mets stink today and they'll still stink whenever you tune back in and watch that video. So thanks for tuning in today, guys. Remember, never give up and we will see you again soon. Adios.